This is my Eternity Trooper, and this is my Hobby King GT2 uh, transmitter that I use to control it. One thing I did to this transmitter is I made it so that when you turn this on, there's a little screen down here that tells you how much voltage is left in the batteries. This is really nice because you can actually get a voltage reading instead of just having to rely on the little um, green light blinking. So what I'm doing this video is I'm, instead of showing you a video of actually doing this, I'm going to show you pictures I took while I was doing it so that you can uh, add one of these to yours. You're going to need one of these LCD screens. And it looks like this. And what I did was I just cut a hole into this and I'll show you all the pictures on how I did it. And um, it's just hooked up so that when the battery turns on, um, the LED screen turns on. And when I turn the battery off, it goes off too. I didn't want this on all the time because I don't want it to drain the battery while I'm not using it. Anyway, I'll show you the pictures. First thing you want to do is take apart your transmitter. There's just a few screws that hold it all together. And once you have those apart, it looks kind of like this. This is the bottom of the board that we're going to be soldering to. These two quick connects on the top, you can remove those if you want, but you probably shouldn't have to. It'll just make it easier to deal with one less wire or two less sets of wires connecting to the board. This is the bottom of the board that we're going to be soldering to, and the two points we're going to be connecting to are here, which is the ground, and over here, which is the positive. We want to mark where we want the LCD screen to point through. You can see where I etched it out with a uh, exacto knife and I drilled six holes to try to help get the process of cutting it out started. Now that the, the hole's done, you want to make sure that the LCD screen will slide through it and so it actually fits inside the hole. Once you know that it fits inside the hole, the next part is to uh, solder on the wires. On this picture you can see the ground wires and the positive wires are now connected. This is what the LCD screen looks like sitting inside the um, hole. And what I did is I put a piece of tape across the back side of it. You can see it there. It's the blue tape. And I put that there so that way the screen would stay flush with the edge of the controller. After I had it set in there where I wanted it, I put hot glue around it to hold it in. And I tried to stack up the or pile up the hot glue underneath the little uh, green tabs on the end just to give it a little more strength. On this picture, you can see the blue tape that I have on the back side of it holding the LCD into place. You can see I cut the hole just a hair bit too big, and there's actually light seeping around it. If you can, you want to get that as tight as you can. In this picture, I've put the wiring back in place, and I've run the wires around where close to where they originally came from. Last step is to put the uh, transmitter back together, put the two sides together, put all the screws back in place. Hopefully when you turn your transmitter on, you'll see your battery voltage light up in the LCD screen. This picture shows how much extra I cut on either side of the LCD screen. Hopefully when you're doing yours, you can do a little better job than I did and yours will be a little tighter. But when you're looking at it in the dark and when you, um, well, when it's not in a direct light, it's real hard to see that extra light, extra space around there, and it, and it looks really sharp. Here you can tell I have my thumb resting on the little edge, and you can still see the screen just fine. So, thanks for watching, and just make sure you decide where you want to put it before you start cutting. I was going to put it up here on top because I thought it would be a little easier to see it, but... Then I got to looking, and I think it was going to be too complex. Anyway, I like it down here just as well, and you can put it anywhere you want as long as you hook it up correctly. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks.